A demonstration against the 2G rule and corona policy in Rotterdam has escalated completely. The mayor speaks of an orgy of violence. The number of arrests is increasing. So, after the violent riots in Rotterdam, the judiciary has announced investigations and further arrests. Justice Minister Ferd Gapperhaus spoke on Saturday of extreme violence against the police, emergency services and firefighters. The minister announced a full investigation into the police's use of weapons. At least seven people were injured and about 20 people were arrested that night. Rotterdam Mayor Ahmed Abutaleb spoke of an orgy of violence, as I said. The police said they had fired warning shots and also targeted people. Seven people are said to have been injured. Little was known about the condition of the injured on Saturday morning. In the Netherlands, the police rarely use firearms when there is a riot. The police are also said to have been injured as well. Late on Friday evening, an unannounced demonstration against possible tightening of the corona measures got out of hand. The Minister of Justice spoke of targeted attacks on police officers, fire brigades and journalists. Several hundred officials had come to the port city from all over the country. At 1.30 a.m. the police reported that the situation was manageable. During the protests, protesters started fires and through fireworks, the police tweeted. The police used water cannons. According to the news channel NOS, at least one police car was set on fire. Firefighters were attacked during the extinguishing work and a journalist is also said to have been attacked and his camera was destroyed. The major, the, the, no, the mayor issued an emergency ordinance to forbid people to stay at the site of the riots, as well as in the main train station and another station. The train traffic to and from Rotterdam had been stopped because of the riots, said the Dutch railways. Traffic resumed early Saturday morning. The rally, which several organizations had called, was directed against plans by the government to introduce a 2G rule in view of the worsening corona situation. Access to events, cafes and restaurants was then only given to those who had been vaccinated and those who had recovered. After a curfew uh, imposed in the Netherlands in January, there had already been serious riots in several cities with millions in damages. In the Netherlands, a partial lockdown has been in effect again since last weekend. Gastronomy, shops and sports activities are affected. Larger events have been cancelled. Citizens are only allowed to meet a maximum of four other people in their apartment. Employees should work from home if possible. And um, the German federal government and the Robert Koch Institute have declared the Netherlands to be a high-risk area again. Anyone who enters Germany from the neighboring country on Sunday and uh, further on and is not fully vaccinated or recovered must isolate themselves for 10 days. The quarantine can be ended with a negative corona test after five days at the earliest. Well, I sometimes don't understand these these riots. We have a lot of G, 2G here in Germany now as well. Um, we even have 3G on buses and trains. And... Uh, we, I still can celebrate Carnival next week with, with 2G+. Plus. So only um, vaccinated people or healed people, but they all still have to get a test. And I, I don't see the problem with it. But I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.